Okay, this is really spicy. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Snack Therapy where snacks feed your soul. And on today's episode, we're trying out instant self-heating hot pot from Heidi Lao. Y'all ready for this? Let's go! Well, as you guys can tell, we're in a brand new studio. Well, kind of a temporary one as we design our new one to our liking. But it looks pretty cool, but we're gonna color it and design it a little bit better and it's gonna look awesome, guys. Well, also you guys know that Lunar New Year is coming up and it's the year of the rats, the white metal rat. And I'm currently rocking our new merch, which is the hoodie. You can also get it in a t-shirt form. Check it out, guys. The pocket of the white rats and in the back, we got Prosperity 2020. Find these merch on our website, AsiansNeverDie.com. All right guys, on today's episode, we're trying out the beef version of the Instant Hot Pot from Heidi Lao. We tried out the vegetarian version before, which is awesome, but this has been sold out for quite some time. I know you guys enjoy these videos, and I do too, because Hot Pot is actually one of my favorite meals out there. I probably go to Hot Pot maybe two or three times a week. It's awesome, guys. If you guys don't know about Heidi Lao, this, just a little backstory. They just actually found it in Sichuan, China in 1994, and they have over 400 stores all around the world. And Heidi Lao is the one where they have the spinning noodle guy that's dancing around and smacking people in the face with the noodles, but it's quite awesome. I've actually had the chance to go to the, the flagship store in Beijing, China, the one where they serve you with robots. All you do is go on a little iPad, select the menu and the items that you guys want, and the little robot comes out like the Jetsons from like the futuristic and serve you food, and it's amazing, guys. So if you guys ever get a chance to go to the Beijing Heidi Lao in China, definitely swing by, guys. It's worth it. All right, let's see what's inside the package. The cool thing about this, it's, it's a self-heating version of it. So this is about a pound worth of food in here and it comes with a package that actually heats up the food. Kind of like the MREs where like the army and the military they use. But let's see what's inside this package. There is beef, pickled vegetables, spicy hot pot seasoning, and a lot of salt. <laughs> so if you guys have never seen one of these, it's uh, really awesome because it's convenient. You can put it inside your pantry. Oh dude, that packaging is really, really cool. Oh, this one's a little bit updated versus the other one. So on the inside, it actually shows you the instructions on how to make the package. Number one, just assemble the package. Number two, pour in water. Number three, cap it off. Number four, put seasoning. Number five, eat. So it takes about 15 minutes for this bad boy to heat up. Now let's see what's on the inside. Quite happy, guys. Okay, cool. So the first package is the vermicelli noodle. If you guys have never had vermicelli noodle, it's kind of like a mung bean clear type of noodle. It's awesome in hot pot. So this is the seasoned beef package, which is fully cooked. This is probably the chopsticks, like the other uh, vegetarian version. And now this is the spicy flavor hot pot seasoning. This is the clear, um, this is the clear bowl that you put everything inside. And at the bottom, we have the pickled vegetables. So there are five different packages in here along with the self-heating package. All you do is crack this bad boy open, put it at the bottom of the bowl, pour some hot water in there, and it heats up. It takes about 15 minutes. So let's get to assembling. All right, guys, let's start putting all the ingredients together. First is the vermicelli noodle. Very cool. Honestly, I haven't eaten all day, and I'm super hungry, and hot pot is going to be a great option because it's really cold in here. So this is what it looks like, vermicelli noodles. Looks kind of like a loofah, where you like scrub yourself with the showers. <laughs> Next right here is gonna be the pickled vegetables. So this comes with lotus roots, potatoes, kelp, black fungus, bamboo shoots, water, salt, MSG, MSG, and MSG. There's a lot of MSG in here. You guys know what MSG stands for? It stands for making shit good. <laughs> so let's see what's inside of this pickled vegetables. It smells pretty good. I mean, honestly, Vegetables goes really, really well with hot pot. Adds a nice flavor and crunch. And um, honestly, you can put anything inside hot pot and it tastes really, really good. Next right here is gonna be the seasoned beef. Beef corn oil, hoisin sauce, and yada, yada, yada. A lot more MSG in here, but once again, without MSG, you can't really make it taste good, guys. Ooh, oh, this looks funky. This looks it smells kind of like the corn hash beef or the corn beef hash from the can. It doesn't look too appetizing. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know about that. That's kind of funky. 
It's like a meat mash together. Next up here, guys, we're gonna put in the spicy flavor hot pot seasoning. Uh, I like mala style hot pot, like it adds a really nice uh, spiciness and seasoning, especially with the Szechuan peppercorns. Oh, if you guys didn't know, uh, Heidi Lao is actually based out of Szechuan, where a lot of the spicy food comes from. So this looks pretty good. Oh, that smells so pungent. Check out all the spicy flavoring in there, that pungent aroma. You see the red peppers, the Szechuan peppercorns, all the smaller spiciness in there. Smells amazing. Next thing is you wanna put that self-heating activated package right here into the bottom of that black uh, bucket right there. So this is the where the magic happens and it simmers everything up. So you wanna put that at the bottom. You wanna take a little bit of water and fill it up into the line. And it's gonna start heating up really, really quickly. Let's take that white bucket right here, put it on the inside, fits perfectly in, and you wanna fill up, oh, perfect. So after that, all you do is you wanna close it up and leave it for about 15 minutes and you have a piping hot meal from Heidi Lao Hot Pot. Let's go. After 15 long minutes of waiting for this to boil up, it's ready to eat. Now let's see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, this thing is really, really hot though, guys, so you wanna be careful. Woo! That aroma of that Szechuan peppercorn, that mala spice looks really good. This is the utensils that they provide. Comes with like some chopsticks and a spoon. Let's see what the chopsticks, it's pretty cool. All right, comes with the toothpick too. Ah, oh, this is awesome, kind of like Legos. Put it together for that chopstick. If you guys don't use chopsticks, you can use a fork. But if you guys wanna pick up that ABG and take her to a nice dinner, you wanna make sure that you know how to use chopsticks. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? This episode is brought to you by Flavorless Ume Hot Sauce. If you guys like a hot sauce that packs a punch and also a lot of heat, try them out. It's made with honey, vinegar, and scorpion pepper. So you know this thing packs a punch. It goes well with any type of food out there. So get yours today from the link below. I can see that the noodles, the vermicelli noodle is perfectly cooked, guys. I love glass noodles or this vermicelli inside hot pot because it really sucks up the broth and that flavor, adds a nice pungent like flavor to it. And the vegetables, lotus root, guys. You definitely wanna try out the lotus root because it adds really great texture to the food. But what I'm really curious about is that beef loaf. <laughs> But if this was an ingredient at a hot pot spot, I would not get this, but that's gonna be an interesting one. So let's try out this Heidi Lao Instant Hot Pot. Amazing. All right. Let's try that lotus root first. I love lotus roots. Mmm. Mmm. That texture is amazing, guys. And the great thing about this is that really soaks up that flavoring. Ooh, the next thing. Here is a pro tip from a hot pot connoisseur. Put potatoes inside of your hot pot. Adds a really nice texture and it soaks up all that flavoring into that potato. Mmm. A match made in heaven, guys. It's like ABG and Boba's put together. Amazing. Next thing is that vermicelli noodles. Get some of that broth, put inside. This was really good, guys. Honestly, it's not too salty like the other version I tried from that vegetarian style. Let's try some of that vermicelli. <laughs> Woo! Okay. That oil and the spices like went right back into my throat. That was delicious though. That was really good. But be careful, guys. <coughs> Woo! Okay, this is really spicy. That broth is oily and it goes back into your throat. It makes you cough right away. Oh, <clears throat> that's good though, yeah. But last, guys, what I really wanna try is that congealed, manufactured beef loaf that they call seasoned beef. Kinda, kinda scared of this one. Chemically goodness of MSG. Hmm. That's 
weird. Like, it melts in your mouth right away. It's really soft, the patty. Very beefy and seasoned though. It kind of tastes like the beef noodle soup that you get from like a Taiwanese hot pot spot. But it's actually kind of good. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's really interesting and good. Yeah, let's try another piece. It's like a little pink on the outside too. Chinese beef. Mm. Actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> For the looks, it did look great at all. But mixed with that broth and that seasoning adds a nice flavor to it. It is good. Honestly, if I had a bowl of rice, it would go perfectly with this hot pot right here. Get some of that noodles. Yeah. Definitely guys, this is way better than the vegetarian style. And if you guys can find this at like your local Asian market, like H Mart or 99 Ranch or even Marina Foods, it's around 10 bucks. It took me a while to find this one though because it was sold up for a while. I found the green version, but oh, online I've actually seen the sour vegetarian, which is the purple one versus the red box right here. But this is pretty good guys. Honestly, for a quick instant meal, I give it like maybe a four and a half star out of five for a quick instant meal. But if you're able to go to a Hot Pots place for like 15 bucks with fresh vegetables and meat, I would rather go to that. But for a quick instant meal at like a camping trip, or if you're hungover, the next day you can't get out of bed, this will be a great option, guys. So if you guys can find yourself the Heidi Lao beef flavor version of the instant self-heating hot pot, pick yourself up one, guys. It's amazing. That was a really good meal, guys. Honestly, my face and tongue is still numb and tingling from all the peppercorns, and also my throat is burning from the mala spices. But what I'll do differently next time is buy more meat and vegetables and put inside that broth because it was delicious. Smash that like button guys, leave a comment below on what we should try next, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of great content coming out. Thank you guys so much, see you next time.